I just got home. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 125. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone who is interested in the early access, no censor, no blur type of content, I do have them available on my Patreon page on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. If the arrival of the Eastern Empire's imperial couple just in time for the wedding isn't enough to get tongues wagging. Let me make sure. The private meal the two sovereigns are having will certainly get people talking. Grrr, oh, yeah, that, there's going to be major beef there. I doubt Henry invited Sovatio for dinner with pure intentions, since it's very likely that he only invited him to our wedding so he could rub it in Sovatio's face. Wait, he's not being pushed around by Sovatio, is he? Well, my queen. There's no way. I don't think he's that helpless. Is he? The Remarried Empress. Episode 125. My hair is going to drive me nuts. <laughs> the smug face. Oh my gosh. Tied up my hair. Ugh. Oh, he is mad. But the food looks good, though. Wait, so it's just them two sitting there? That's so awkward. Why did you ask me to join you? <laughs> well, in a way, I should be thanking you. Thanking me? You divorced Navier. If you hadn't done that, I would still be chasing her shadow with a broken heart. The truth is, I've loved her for, for a long time. <sighs> oh, if you think about it, you essentially helped arrange our marriage. Navier should know how devious you are. Oh, she's never going to. <laughs> because unlike a certain someone, I don't intend for her to ever find out. Ah! <laughs> hmm. People slip up when they get too cocky. I can already tell I'll be able to use that to my advantage soon. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but she doesn't like you. Hmm. You're a dupe. Wait, how do you say the word? You're a duplicitous? Duplicitous? Hold on, man. Duplicitous man, King Henry. That trait won you, Navier's heart. But it'll also be the reason she will want to come back to me. People who are duplicitous usually have a lot to hide. For example, Duke Ergi. <laughs> His Majesty's behavior has only gotten stranger since that day. I thought that he'd forget about it if I told him that the incident with the, with the least took a toll on my body. But since then, he's halved the amount of time that he sings our baby lullabies. And he rode in separate carriage when we came here. Don't tell me. He doesn't believe me. How heartless is that? The least tried to harm me. Does his majesty not care? But he's the only person I can turn to. <laughs> Delise was out running an errand until late at night, on the day that that bird was sent back to the West Palace. 
I don't know if her bawling was for an audience or if she really believes what she's saying. But she must know that. She accused Elise without any concrete evidence and punished her brutally. I could have been the one who had my tongue cut out if I had been the one to attend to that room that day. The only way to survive in the palace is to do what I've always done. Keep my head down. <sighs> Your Majesty, I brought you some refreshments. <laughs> Did you get the information I wanted? Mm. It seems the nobles here are hesitant to welcome their new queen because the former queen is still young and comes from a powerful noble family. She also hasn't moved out of the palace. Hmm. She left his majesty like she was going to greener pastures. But I guess she's stuck in an unfortunate situation. Hmm. Why is she being smug? Uh, hmm. Enough sugary dessert. That would make anyone think I have a sweet tooth. And my favorite champagne. Which is also sweet because it doesn't really taste like alcohol. If I mix this in and say it's juice, uh-oh. Surely she would drink it without getting suspicious. Then when she lowers her guard because she's feeling a little tipsy. Your Majesty, Lady Krista is here to see you. Your Majesty. I don't think I'll ever get bored of hearing that. Welcome, Lady Krista. I'm sure my sudden invitation must have taken you by surprise. I heard a lot about you back at home. I, uh, <laughs> wanted to get to know you better. Oh, oh my, this juice is really good. It's one of my favorites. I hope you like it too. Um, I don't know if you know this, but my road to marriage was bumpy. My manners aren't very refined because I was separated from my parents as a child and subsequently raised as a commoner. I also don't have a lot of noble friends. The nobles in my li in my empire still like Queen Nibir better. Um, that's why I wanted to be friends with you, even if it's just while I'm here. This juice is really sweet and delicious. Yeah, I'm so glad. By the way, there's something I wanted to ask you. Are you unable to remarry? Uh, uh, uh. The remarried empress. No. That is like the worst cliffhanger ever so like that's it like that's such a short episode oh man i'm kind of upset about that one but well it is what it is all right guys if you guys enjoy my web to reaction slash reading style feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments on how y'all felt about this episode and i'll catch you guys next time bye